Good morning. Gilead Sciences hit a home run yesterday with its earnings when it reported after the market closed. Gilead delivered revenue of $5 billion. That was almost double what it earned last year at this time. Earnings per share were $1.48, easily blowing out analyst estimates of $0.92. Cents. Gilead was able to do this because of its drug, Sofaldi. Joining me now is David Nelson. He's the chief strategist over at Bell Point Asset Management. Now, David, Gilead sparked a biotech sell-off because of it this did. drug when it came under fire for the cost of treatment, which was $84,000. Now, can these types of earnings continue if insurers push back on this treatment? I think insurers are likely to push back, but I don't think they'll succeed for the following reasons. First, it's important to understand you know, something about hepatitis C and, and the disease. Uh, $1,000 a pill, it sounds, out, sounds outrageous, but the, you know, the cost and the investment involved, we're talking billions of dollars were spent to, uh, you know, to purchase this, uh, this, this treatment or this drug. And uh, you know, for a lot of people who suffer from the disease, this is a cure. We're not talking about you know, a chronic condition that they'll be paying $84,000 a year for life. 12 weeks later, you're cured. That's a big deal. And the cost to an insurance company years down the road uh, you know, to treat likely cancer or a liver transplant, in the end, it's worth it. Okay, so you did mention that they spent billions of dollars sure. to uh, research this. And that's my next point is, you know, shouldn't they have the opportunity to recover and recoup some of the costs of the research that they put into it. Yes, the insurers are complaining sure. this on the back end, but listen, they got there by spending a lot they of money. They spent a lot of money, research. and there's a lot of risk. Just last year, Bristol Myers had to take a huge write down on their purchase of Inhibitex, whose drug in this, uh, in this area failed. So the, the risks are high. And yes, they should uh, be repaid. I don't think personally that, that Congress should have a, have a say in this. What's going to bring the cost down, and it will come down, uh, is competition. There are other drugs out there that are coming on market. Merck has a drug. Uh, probably the first up will be Abby's drug. You'll see these costs come down somewhat, but they'll still remain, you know, they'll still be headline gravers. All right. When we look at the chart, the stock is right. up 37 percent for the past year, but it did drop as a result of right. that uh, congressional question about the cost. Piper Jaffrey thinks the stock's worth $106. Is that a valid number? I, th I think it is. Uh, and I think Gilead has probably transitioned from being you know, a hyper growth company. It's actually trading at a value multiple. Uh, even if I give next year's numbers uh, a 10% discount, it would be under 13 times uh, uh, next year's earnings. That's better than the market. So for a strong double digit grower, I think $106 is an easy target for them. All right, well, the stock is already up over 3% this morning, so it's on its way to that number. That was David Nelson of Bell Point Asset Management, and I'm Deborah Borchardt for The Street.